Anita? I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I, I just, I didn't think you'd be back so early. Yeah, we're running so behind. Alan had to bring me back because I think I left my earrings. Have you seen them? I don't think so. What do they look like? They're diamond earrings, and I could have sworn I left them on the couch. Excuse me, Cyrus. Yeah. I don't mean to impose, but if we don't leave soon, we'll hit traffic on the bridge. Oh, you're right. Okay, let me run upstairs and find another pair of earrings, okay? <laughs> if you find them, you'll let me know, right? Of course. Okay. What were you doing on the floor? Pardon me? I saw you when I walked in. What were you doing on the floor? Uh, I, I, I thought I saw a stain, but looks like I was wrong. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Have a good day, Anita. Hey, hey honey, how was work? Did you find a job yet, Jose? No luck today. Nobody's hiring construction workers right now. It's been six months. I am tired of taking care of everything myself around here. Bet you could get around uh, 500 for them at the pawn shop. But it still isn't enough. We gotta move to plan B. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's not like I can count on you for anything. So I'm just gonna have to take care of everything myself. Where's Rafi? He's in there. Rafael, come out here, please. Hi, honey. Did you make the stuff I asked you for? Yeah, it's all right here. Mom, why are we doing this again? Don't worry, son. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. This is just something I need for my job. Hey, trust me on this, OK? I can't believe this. I'm always so thorough when it comes to vetting my staff. It's okay. You can't catch everything. I saw this when I was helping my husband find jobs. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'm just so shocked right now. <sighs> to be honest, I can't say I'm too surprised. I think I smelled alcohol on him the other day. Drinking on the job? I can't believe I never noticed. I guess I trusted him too much. I don't know what I'm going to do. How am I going to find another driver on such short notice? Well, my husband drove a cab for many years. I know it's not the same, of course, but it could be something to find somebody else. Really, Anita? Yeah. Oh, my God, do you think he can start ASAP? Oh, of course. Why don't I bring him over tomorrow so you can meet him? Yes, that would work. Oh, my God, you're such a lifesaver. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> How was the first week of soccer practice? She's off to a great start. Amazing. And thank you so much. We'll get you paid by the end of the week. Okay? Bye, Miss Jessica. Bye. Um, Anita, take Hazel inside, please. I need to handle something. Mom, what's going on? Not now, Hazel. What is wrong with you? Drinking and driving? What? Are you kidding me? I didn't do anything. What? You're not doing anything no more because you're fired. What? This I... is not okay. I don't want to hear anything I else. I didn't do anything. Resume looks great, Mr. Diaz. It says here you drove for Sherman Oaks Taxi for nine years? I did. I did, yes. Okay, perfect. How does $5,000 a month sound? Oh, that sounds amazing, Miss Iris. Thank you. I, uh... I can't wait to start working. Excuse me. Listen, Miss Cyrus, I don't know who gave you that article, but it's not real. Someone's trying to set me up. Please, just, just hear me out, please. Anita's husband, Jose, is now taking over. What? 
He drove for Sherman Oaks Taxi for almost a decade. Listen, please, I'm you gotta sorry. hear me. Things did not work out. Please, listen, Iris. I don't think there's anything more to be said. On that note. No. Thank you. Wow. I didn't think I'd feel so guilty about letting Alan go. Do you think I made the right decision? Yes, I do. You know, my mom used to say, when people show you their true colors, believe them the first time. Your mom sounds like a wise woman. Ugh. Maybe he's the reason why my earrings are missing. <sighs> Mr. Diaz, I'm excited to have you drive for me. That better not be Alan again. Yeah, she doesn't give up, does he? Oh, Jesse, I totally forgot about soccer practice today. Come in, I'll get Hazel for you. Okay. Is it okay if I set my bag down? I gotta run to the trunk and get a few things before I set up outside. Yeah, no problem. I wonder how much Iris pays Jesse. Raph played soccer in middle school. No, Anita. Don't even think about it. You still have the earrings, right? They're in the car. I didn't take them to the pawn shop yet. Go get them. I don't want to, Mom. First you made me Photoshop that fake article, and now this? Th that was different, Ralph. This is a great opportunity. Money can change everything for us. A new house, new car, but everyone has to be on board. I don't even like soccer. That's why I quit it. But you were good at it. Just come with me and meet Miss Iris. Why are you being so difficult? Jose, aren't you gonna say something? Look, I don't wanna pretend to be a soccer coach, Mom. I don't want to lie. You don't have to lie. You know how to play the game. It's easy money. Maybe this isn't a good idea. He's just a kid. He doesn't need to be a part of this. And besides, between the two of us, we're making 10 grand a month. It's more than enough. We're still in debt. Raphael needs to do this. It's not an option. What? You stole more jewelry. This isn't for me. This is all part of my plan. Just watch. Okay. okay. Looking good out there. She's a natural. I'm glad I'm getting my money for <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to pay you. Do you have change for a hundred? Let me check my bag. Is that my necklace? Yes, it is. I don't know how that got there. I've never seen that before. Um, Iris. I've been looking for these for days now. And you're the one who took them? No, I didn't take anything. I, I, I wouldn't do anything like that, I, I swear. So they just magically appeared in your bag? Mom, Coach Jessica would never do such a thing. She is not like that. Until she can give me a valid reason as to why my missing earrings and now my necklace are in her bag, she's no longer your coach. That's not fair. I, I, I can't believe this. Um, what are we gonna do about my payments? Payment? Little girl, you are lucky I'm not calling the cops. Get out! Not payment. I am so sorry, Miss Iris. Yeah, yeah, me too. First Alan and now Jesse. It's like you can't trust anybody nowadays. The worst part, Hazel has soccer playoffs at the end of the month, and now she has no coach. You know, my son used to play uh, soccer. It's been a while for him, but he could help Hazel if you'd like. Really? Gosh, it's like the universe sent you and your family to me. 
You guys have been such a blessing. Can he start tomorrow? I think he can make that work. Anything for you, Miss Cyrus. Hazel ready for her soccer practice with Raphael? Hmm. There's been a slight change in plans. But come in, please. Hazel's cousin Beth is in town for the summer and she offered to train Hazel. She's a great player. Thanks. I'm gonna grab a quick shower. Mm -hmm. Raphael, I'd really love for you to continue training Hazel after Beth goes back to school in fall. Oh, uh, okay, sure, uh, no problem. Uh, I'll just leave then. Uh, uh, wait, uh, so you're just letting him go on such short notice? Um, I understand. How about I give you something extra to hold you over in case something else comes up? Thanks. <laughs> Jose, do you mind giving Rafael a ride home? No, of course, that's fine. Guys, I'll be right back, okay? I gotta check on something. What are we gonna do? We need that money. Do we? We paid off all of our bills. We got a new place. That was the goal, right? You think you get a life like Iris has by settling? I don't think so. Look, there's nothing you can do at this point. It really sounds like Miss Iris is set on her decision. Yeah, it does. Don't hang up your soccer cleats just yet. You can get back to me. Oh my gosh, Miss Beth. Are, are you are you feeling okay? What's wrong? I don't know. She's just acting really weird. Uh, okay, why don't you run inside and get your mom, okay? Okay, hi. Mom! Beth's in trouble! It's so much here. Anita, Beth, what's wrong with her? I don't know, I, I just came out and found her like this. You know, I haven't seen anyone like this. Oh, no, I, no I'm sure Beth is a good girl. She wouldn't. She wouldn't what? It's just, the last time I saw anyone like this, it was Alan, and he wasn't exactly sober. Are you kidding me? And around my daughter? Did she just pass out? Uh, okay. Beth, can you hear me? Come on. 
She probably just needs to sleep it off. I'm sure it's not drugs or anything. If it were, we'd have a problem. Well, are you sure? Uh, I mean, maybe we should call an ambulance, ju ju just in case, you know? And then they can run some blood tests and confirm what it is. It, it, it's worth knowing, especially if she's gonna be around your daughter this summer. Huh? Yeah? Hmm, nah, that's all right. I was in college once, she's fine. It's fine. But, but you she's know, with, with how much she took, I mean, what do you mean, how much she took? Um, but I was, I was just assuming that she, you know, took something. You know? No, I don't think that's true, Anita. Do you think that's true, Beth? What? You're okay, but I thought, what's going on? What is this, some kind of, some kind of joke? Ah, uh, you guys got me good, yeah. I think the joke's on you. Yeah, when I got fired, I thought it was a little bit odd that your husband got my old job. I didn't think anything of it. That is, until I came back a few weeks ago to pick up my last check. You came back? Yep. And I ran into Hazel. And she was really upset about everybody being fired. And made mention that it was your family members that kept replacing us. That's when I knew I had to do a lot of digging. That news article that you gave Iris was a fake. Here's the real one. I already told you. This doesn't mean anything. OK. Well, how about this? I have a friend that works at Sherman Taxi pull a list of all the drivers over the past several years to verify if your husband worked for them or not. And it turns out they never heard of him. Care to explain that one? Uh, Jose is his nickname. It was on the driver's license that he gave me when he was hired. When Alan and Hazel came to me about all of this, I didn't know what to believe. So Alan came up with the idea of catching you in the act. So we had Beth take Raphael's job just to see what she would do. We planted nanny camps all over the house. And lo and behold. The camera hidden in the plant on the kitchen counter had a gold mine of footage. You set me up. You can't do that. <laughs> I can, because it's my house. Although you acted like it was yours. I wouldn't be surprised if the police found my jewelry in your new house uh, either. Police. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to place your hands behind your back. Um, th 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 this is outrageous. I, I, I wanna see my husband. Oh, don't worry about him. We talked to him on the way over here. He had a lot of interesting things to say about you. Like how this was all your idea, and he tried to stop you. Seems like him and your son want nothing to do with this. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, what? what? Please, Miss Iris, don't, don't, don't do this. This, this is all, this is all a big misunderstanding. You know, the old me may have been willing to hear you out, but as I've come to learn, when people show you their true colors, believe them the first time. Take her away. Oh, no. Sorry. But please, come on. I just need to call my husband. I get one phone call. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, I am back. I'm back. Boy, oh, I miss you two guys so much. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I spoke to Jesse, and she'll be here tomorrow morning to continue soccer training. Yay! Great. <laughs> and if you know any housekeepers with experience, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, group up. So, it's all the old rich people that live here. Oh, hello, Dorothy. I'm Chad, your new caretaker. They have all this cash, and I'm going to do it. If you and I work together, we could have matching dream cars by the end of summer. 